Seven garbage clash of clans attacks, and whether it's your blimp getting absolutely zero value or your heroes dying to the CC, we got some attacks in this video. Coming attack number one, we got Silent Killer. He's gonna drop an invis on this archer tower, then drop his blimp. CC's gonna come out, it's gonna have a titan, and then a poison spell is gonna hit his super archers, and then he drops an invis way too late, drops two clone spells, which clone absolutely nobody because all of his archers are already gone. They've gone ghost. His king uses the ability, but he's trying to hit an ice golem right now. This CC is absolutely doing wonders for this man in the clan of two fight six and his king goes down his archer queen it's not looking good uses the giant arrow shoots it straight off the map gets absolutely zero value with that archer queen is still invisible gets to the town hall but she goes down there's two builders on this town hall so it's not looking good and then this man just sends him his champion by itself he's gonna use his uh invis spells tactically except for he's absolutely gonna miss the, the the champ with that second one and the champ's just not gonna do enough val not, not gonna do enough damage to take out this town hall here she's gonna go down and instead of dropping his army with his champ he just says oh you know what? i'm gonna drop my champ let her die then i'm gonna drop a you know start sprinkling in some some dragon riders a dragon i mean at this point this man i mean this attack he's struggling to even take out the town hall i mean this attack is absolutely horrible he needs to drop his whole army at this point I mean, and they're going straight into an air super, uses his warrant ability, but he still hasn't dropped all of his troops, and Invis Tower goes off on the town hall. I mean, it's looking absolutely horrible. I mean, another poison tower, and at this point, I mean, these two dragons are not going to take out this town hall. Absolutely horrible attack, start to finish, and then at the end, he's going to drop some more dragons and some more loons. Like, why not just drop your whole army at one point? At, if, at this point, I mean, just let them all die to the town hall, at least get the one star, because this is absolutely embarrassing absolutely a 10 percent zero star it's that number two we got killer and killer uh he's gonna be lighting out some of these uh ground expos but he's not gonna hit completely lighting them out so i'm not really too sure what this man's doing but this defense this base is absolutely horrible i mean i gotta respect it it looks like he, def he at least designed this base himself but then he drops an archer queen straight onto a single inferno has to use her ability use the keen ability and now he's gonna drop 16 baby dragons on the right side what are we doing with 16 baby dragons? It makes absolutely no sense. Like, as we know, the baby dragons do way more damage when they're by themselves and they don't have any other air troops. So make, that's what, this is why nobody uses all baby dragons together. They drop so much of wizards on the top side, they actually take out the E-Dragon CC, so they got decent value over there, to be honest. But they all die. And at this point, I mean, 16 baby dragons. It's just not the play. I mean, you might as well just use normal dragons. 16 baby dragons is one of the worst armor comps I've ever seen. Coming attack number three, we got Hades versus Bob. And this man, Hades, gonna drop his Archer Queen. And yet again, the CC is absolutely gonna do wonders for him. I mean, Dublin clan, we've seen a couple attacks from third clan, now we're getting a nice little defense. But that CC really got the Archer Queen low. Thankfully, she's got the Unicorn on her, heal healing her up. But it's not like good has to use her ability to keep her alive. Keen is not going the same way as the Archer Queen. You could say they're kind of funneling perfectly for this Town Hall, though, I guess you could say. Drops some loons and then drops his E-Dragons. He's done decent funneling because all of his troops are going towards that Town Hall. He freezes the Invises, so the Invises will only go off when you destroy them. But, uh... They destroys one, it goes off, and now at this point, the other one's just gonna pop on its own, pops on the town hall. The town hall's been invisible for like 10 seconds now, and they're all going around the town hall. This is absolutely shocking. I mean, this is kind of unfortunate, to be honest. They've just gone right around the town hall. Town hall. He did good funneling, but the double invis on the town hall absolutely pranked Killer, the attacker here. And these E-Dragons, they're not going to turn around at this point. Champ's going to go down. I mean, these E-Dragons, they actually, he actually got a decent bait, decent attack. He almost took out most of this base, but uh, the Town Hall just went right around that thing. Coming attack number four, we got Silent versus 304. And this man Silent going to drop a nice little Lava Hound here and a blimp, you know, pretty pretty standard play. Looks like he's trying to try take out, you know, maybe both those scatter shots, maybe that Monolith. But he's going to not drop his Invis until the Siege Machine's already dead. Quick tip, you want to drop your invis right before you destroy your blimp. That way, the troops are instantly inside an invis and there isn't a chance for those defenses to target him. As you can see there, they got absolutely cooked instantly. Just wasted his spells, wasted his siege machine, got absolutely no value. And then for some reason, he drops his keen straight into the CC. The CC is getting massive value. Then he drops an invis on the CC, which is only going to make them go over to his archer queen. And uh, she, it's not looking good. I mean, she's got three ice golems on her and a loon. 
She's gonna stand absolutely no chance. She's somehow still alive. She goes down. His giant arrow went straight off the map like usual. And his keen is still alive, but he's going straight. You know, he's going straight in the center of this base. It's not looking good. Drops his champ for some strange reason. I mean, all this champ's gonna do is die because she's gonna go straight into this keen. You never really want to drop your champ into other heroes. She gets no value that way. You want her to be protected, you know, around other troops. And so she can just take out those defenses while, you know, being protected. But instead, this man's going to let his champ die and then drop all of his dragons and loons on the right side with Newton. Absolutely no funneling. At least he's an air warden. At least, I mean, what is the invis spells? That is very interesting. But at least he's an air warden. Has some decent spells. Still is left. Drops a rage. Drops a clone. Does a decent warden ability at this point. You know, he's gonna get close to the town hall, but then drops another invis on top of the monolith for some strange reason. And then drops another invis on nobody. I mean, the spell usage has been absolutely horrible. I mean, he could not get to a town hall if he tried. It is over. Jesus. Can we attack number five? We got Kyle versus Tom. And this man, Kyle, is gonna drop some lightnings and some earthquakes on top of these multi infernos. But unfortunately for him, he took so long, that builder actually healed up that mo or that multi inferno to keep her from dying. Then he drops his archer queen straight on to the CC, and this keen's going straight into a champ and a keen. And this multi inferno. I mean, what are we doing? Queen goes down for the CC. Keen goes down. I mean, this is. Then he drops what four or five golems. <laughs> Just why are we using golems when we've already lost our army? Like we want to drop our golems to tank for our heroes and tank for our witches and tank for our main army. We don't want to let our heroes tank for the golems. The golems ain't going to do nothing. Then he uses a ward ability, somehow takes out the town hall with that. Obviously because he dropped a bunch of earthquakes on it. So worked out somehow those earthquakes. His witches are getting, going in the center of the base while his golems are going the left and right side. So the golems are doing tanking for nothing. And why are we using, I mean, I could understand the strategy. Okay, I'm a mono, or I'm gonna earthquake out these mulch infernos, lightning them out, and they're only gonna worry about one, and then you're gonna go through the base by funneling, and with the golems and the witches. Well, we're gonna want some more witches and a lot less golems in that theory. We got coming attack number six, we got Fahad versus Jayon. And Fahad's gonna drop, a, you know, a stone slammer, instantly gonna get taken out, which is crazy. Took out one building took out one defense. A stone slammer can last the entirety of the attack without dying. He can take out theoretically every building in the game. And this man got one, one defense. Then he's gonna drop four or five rages on nothing. Like what are these rages? What are these hero abilities? I mean, the CC is going ham again. It's gonna take out his champ. Champ goes down. King go on the left side. What are these? I mean, just the spell usage and the CC is going absolutely crazy. A decent warren ability. Because they are, a lot of these troops are taking damage, but it might be a little early because there's no way they're going to pass that town hall. The problem is the town hall is raged up. The monolith is going to town. Multi Inferno on the left side. I mean, another and an Archer Queen on the left side. Our town hall goes down from the Archer Queen. King goes down from a Z Dragon, but this this uh, Archer Queen is going to go straight into a monolith. She's going to die, and the pony has moved over to the warden and at this point this attack is absolutely over just some horrible spell usage what is this man doing coming attack number seven we got croca versus huh and croca another classic this man's gonna drop eight earthquakes on top of the town hall what are we doing then we got a wall wrecker and he drops a rage on a wall wrecker which does nothing because siege machines are not affected by spells he's gonna freeze the town hall but it's just getting healed up by these builders i mean the man's got four builders on his town hall and uh, then he's going to drop the rest of his army. Very interesting funneling strategy. Keen on the right side. Going to try and get these troops in it. His uh, Titan does get to the town hall, but does not take it out. She does not do that much damage. And his warden, it's not looking good. Uses a warden ability. Absolutely snipes that town hall. Best part of this attack. Actually, a good warden ability. Takes out the town hall. But unfortunately, everything else in his attack was absolutely tragic. I mean, what is this man doing? Keen's actually made it to the center base, but getting sniped out by a monolith. All of his troops are already dead at this point. Just got the warden. Warden goes down. Absolutely tragic. 34%.